Hey everybody! I know I just recently did a video, but for some reason I have never made an action or a document template uh, for printing with my iColor 550, so I thought it would be a great thing to do, and I thought I would share it with you because I have frequently uh, set my document too large, and you know when it goes through the printer, the printer doesn't do edge-to-edge -edge printing, so I'll miss, you know, a quarter of an inch or something like that. It's very annoying, especially with the cost of paper. So I figured I would show you how to do it. So we're going to create a preset um, for the document size, and then we will record an action. And that will allow you to press one button. I have assigned a shortcut key. Um, but after we finish this, you can, with two clicks, create this. create this. So this is what we're going to do. We will do a portrait and a landscape version of this. Um, we will create a fill layer. So now anything that you put on top of it, you can change your background just by double clicking. Like we could make it white. And we still have our guides. So these guides will give us, you know, some safe space about a half an inch all the way around. Um, you may find that you might be able to get away with a quarter of an inch, but like I said, I've wasted plenty of sheets, and so I'm going to try and make it a little safer for me. And then you have these quadrants that you can use. We've got some center guides here, which is really important. So there's the center, and then the, here's the center horizontal line, I mean vertical line, and here's the center uh, horizontal line. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, we're going to record an action. So literally, um, again, I press one button once you open the document um, and you can record that. So let me close that out and let's create a preset for a document. So let's create new. I'm in Photoshop 2020. Um, so this is an A4 size. So let, I tell you what, let's go over here to print. And we'll go, we'll choose A4. And I am going to call this A4 Portrait. And for me, that's going to be easier to read A4 Portrait than try and figure out, okay, is, you know, is 210 Portrait or Landscape. So I'm going to call it Portrait. And then I'm going to change my background color to Transparent. And here's the important part, you want to save this preset. And I guess I didn't save it. Whoops. Let's call it A4 Priest, A4 Portrait. There we go. And create. So here is our A4 sheet. And what we're going to do now is record an action so you can add all your guidelines without wasting a bunch of time. So we're going to go up here on the top left and choose View, New Guide. I tell you what, let's um, let's first do the action. That would help. All right, so let's go up here to Window Actions. So again, Window Actions, and we're going to create. So here's the ones I did this morning. So let's create a new folder or an action set, and we'll call this Eye Color Five Fifty. And now inside that set, we're going to, let me delete this one so I don't get myself confused. All right, so here's our new set. We're going to record an action and we're going to call this A4 Portrait. And then here's the important part. We want to assign this a function key. So you can just click one key and be done with it. Now, I've already chosen F18 and F19, so I'm just going to add a uh, different combination. So I'm going to choose F18, and then I'm going to make sure that shift is checked. So we'll do sh so in the future. I would do shift a F18, and this will pop right up. So now I'm going to hit record. You'll notice that we've got this red button right here showing that it's recording. 
So now let's go ahead and get this thing going. Okay, so let's add a adjustment fill layer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to the bottom right hand corner and choose the circle that's half filled and choose solid color. Okay, again, that's the circle down here and then solid color and we're gonna go with black. Almost all my shirts are black. Um, so that's good. And again, I'm a weirdo and I like to have a blank layer on the bottom. So let me just put that on the bottom. I don't know why. Uh, okay, so now let's go ahead and make some guides. So now we're gonna go up to view on the top, tabs at the top, and we're gonna come, how, come down here to new guide. And so let's do our vertical guides first. Let's do our center vertical guide. So we're just gonna choose 50%, type that in there and hit okay. And now let's, let's do some more. So we're gonna do another new guide and we're going to, again, we're gonna do our vertical guides. And so this is gonna be a half an inch on the left-hand side. And then let's do one more. And this is gonna be a half an inch from the right-hand side. So A4 paper is 8.27. So minus a half an inch will be 7.77. .77. And we're gonna choose okay. So now we've got our vertical guides set up. So now let's do our horizontal guide. So now we're going to go to new guide and we're going to go to horizontal 50%. Click OK. And again, we'll do our top and bottom ones. So new guide and 0.5 from the top. So that gives me a half inch gutter at the top. And one more. And so this is 11.7, so we'll make it 11.2. And check OK. And so now I can easily change the color of my backdrop. And I have some guides that will help me in my design. So let's stop recording that action. And now you'll see up here, and I do have a lot of actions. I, I don't even use any of them. I should. Um, but now you can see our new action right here, eye color 550, A4 portrait, that's this action, and the shortcut key is Shift F18. So that's how you do that. So I'm going to take you through quickly uh, doing one for landscape. All right, so I'm not going to save that. So we're going to go to Create New. And we're going to choose, um, we'll go over here to the print. We'll choose A4. And so now we are going to change it to landscape orientation. And let's call this A4 landscape. And we'll change it to transparent. We're going to choose that save and we're going to call it A4 transparent. Whoops, A4 landscape. I don't know what my problem is this morning. It's like I can't think. <clears throat> and now we're going to choose save preset. So you can see um, it's right there in this one. I guess I did not change that name. So I'll go back and do that a little bit later. So now we're going to create that and we're gonna create a new document. So there's our document. This is in landscape mode. And let's go ahead and create a new action. So we're gonna go over here because our actions panel is still up. We're gonna press new, that's what the plus button is. It's gonna be in our eye color 550 and we're gonna call this A4 landscape. And we're going to make it a function key and then this one, we're going to make F19 with the shift button. So now we're going to hit record. And so now shift F18 will be portrait and shift F19 will be landscape. Okay, so now let's create a new layer. And we're going to make our color adjustment. So we're going to go down here again on the bottom right hand side and choose an adjustment layer, solid color. It is black already, so I'm going to choose OK. So now we've got that going. We're going to go up here to View, 
New guide, horizontal, 50% is going to be our first one. New guide, same horizontal orientation, so 0.5 inches from the left, I mean from the top. Sorry, now I'm going backwards. Um, new guide, and then let's see, this is a, set, a floor, so that's what, 7.77 on the bottom. View, new guide. Now we're going to change it to vertical, 50%. Hit OK. View, whoops, view, new guide. And we're going to do a half inch on the left. And we're going to do a half inch on the right. And for that, it's going to be 11.2. And we're going to click OK. And so there is our landscape action. And we're going to choose Stop. And I just closed those up. So now let's close that out. And let's see if our action works. So we're going to create a new document using our landscape template that we just did. I'm just going to double click it. Landscape comes up. I'm going to choose Shift, F19, and boom. So three clicks, our preset button, Shift, F19, and it gives us this great template. So I hope this was helpful to you. Have a great day. And I think my next video is going to be on um, creating some tools for you to use like rasterizing brushes and things like that so you can have an easier time uh, making your designs. So have a great day. Thanks for watching.